<laughs> okay, okay. Hi, hi. Good morning, everyone. And we are live today, early, bright Monday morning. And uh, welcome to my page. For those who are following me for the first time, my name is Jen. And uh, yes, I'm from Singapore. A working mom to two teenage boys and also digital business owner. And some of you may be aware that the last few days I've been going live to share about my journey. So today, I uh, over the next few days, I will have a few business partners with me on my page to show you, you know, the real people with real success and how do they also walk uh, uh, this journey. So without further ado, today I have Melissa with me. Welcome, Melissa. And thanks, Melissa. Good Hi, good morning, everyone. Thanks for having me here, Jen. Yes. So uh, for those who are uh, watching us, you know, please uh, let us know if uh, where you're coming from. You know, drop in your comments. If you can hear us, you cannot hear us, let us know. Because we were doing some sound check earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So good. So um, and then I really want to thank Melissa for coming on here this morning, despite her very busy working schedule. You know, so it's my honor to be here. <laughs> so maybe I just want to ask Melissa, you know, uh, what was life like before you even found this online business? Um, so okay. Um, before this online business, I um, I think okay, okay, maybe I just do a short introduction about myself. But briefly, I saw Jen has already uh, mentioned a bit about myself on her page. Um, so I'm Melissa. I'm from Singapore. I'm a working a full time working mom with three children living in Singapore. Um, I started this business about nineteen months ago. So that's in January two zero two one. So life before that was um basically it was during the pandemic, right? And um, we all have to start working from home. Um, basically, with three children and then being, them being home, it was a bit hard to juggle work and, and then have to manage them at the same time. <clears throat> and then slowly when time progresses where we have to like uh, commute, do, uh, we have to be working from home and also working in office. I found it was a bit hard to already adjust to transition. Uh, work seemed to be piling up and then, um, you know, somehow, you know, like managers didn't seem to understand that uh, with children at home, uh, I would prefer to work from home. So, uh, it was just very busy. I feel like um, I, need, I need to get out from this cycle, you know, mm. always being told what to do and I don't even have my own say. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how life was like before. And um, it was busy because kids were going to primary school and there's lots of homework. Even when I'm back, right, uh, while having my dinner, I'll be already marking their homework. You know, I feel like everything is such a rush and then another week has gone by. So, yeah, yeah that was the kind of routine that I had back then. Yeah. Right. This is like a very typical lifestyle of a working mom, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. even though yeah, when... Like it, got, it got even, like, more tricky, like... Uh, more challenging with three kids yeah i think when i had one or two it was still like manageable okay okay but yeah. with three i think it's yeah it's a bit <laughs> that's what i have been hearing three three seems to be the magic number that can really throw things off the balance you know that um yeah. totally yeah. you'll find that it's so difficult to manage yeah, yeah i yeah. mean it's I really amazing yeah. yeah amazing like you know a lot of super moms around having to manage so many things you know but Mm. I guess that also leads me to my next question would be, then what triggered you to make the change, right? I mean, you have spoken briefly. Uh, can you maybe elaborate? Like, there must be some trigger point, right? That mm. push you to Definitely. make a decision. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah, so as I mentioned um, earlier just now where I felt like I didn't have control like over my time, you know, people telling me what to do, you know, having bosses who are, you know, not very understanding. So that really kind of... um push my trigger points a bit because my managers were also family family um, you know people they have kids yes. but I don't understand why they did not understand that um, you know I needed to be home just as much as well mm. so that kind of triggered me a bit like wow well, you know I think that's it you know I, I cannot I cannot have enough of it and also because of the you know the daily routine thing how mm. I think you know, I mentioned just now doing homework and then because my kids have to yes. go to bed so of course. I finish my dinner. I only had like you know an one hour plus to spend with them, and even that time is always rushing them in the sense that you know checking with them um 
what do you have on tomorrow? Pack your school bag. That kind of have you done your homework? <laughs> yeah, have you done your homework? Have you done your spelling? Right. Then they'll come right. and sometimes they need help, right? Then they'll ask, yes. you, oh, mommy, how do you do this? I don't understand this. Then I say, oh, you know, then I, I, I don't feel that I should push the work away to like, uh, you know, to others like say, hey, why don't you ask this person or that person that kind? Because they really want, I think they want my attention because they haven't seen me the whole day, you see. So they just want mm. something to build that communication. So I felt obliged in a way to like, okay, I will, you know, answer it together. Then again with the three kids, right? Then all three want to have <laughs> different attention, different things. Then, you know, or they don't ask the same question. So I feel a bit, yeah, very different. <clears throat> that was my trigger point to like say, um, Something needs to change, lah. Cannot, cannot be like that, you know. You know, but like, right, right. Like said, um, two kids maybe still can can manage, and my two boys, um, two, two other boys, um, their age gap is closer. So mm. whatever I do with the both of them, they still can kind of um, uh, relate to. But with the youngest one, right, it's like because he's still a baby at that at that time. So it's like oh, you know, he wants like full full on attention. So it's a bit hard. <clears throat> Yeah. Yes, yeah. So kind of my trick, so, I mean, right, right. So it's like the mom's guilt really hit to the max already, right? Then you just feel that, wow, yeah, I really yeah. need a change. Yeah. I Correct. mean, Cannot we, we all can, now. yeah, all can resonate with this mom's guilt, all yeah, working the moms, pandemic, right? It made it worse because they had like um, home based learning, right? Yes. So you, know, you really need to be home to help them. So there's also something which, uh, you know, uh, kind of frustrated me because it's actually a change for everyone you know being independent Absolutely. everyone has to change to this new mode of learning yes, um, studying yes. and working so it's right. very hard that um, like I said some of the trigger point was that the bosses don't understand I, I don't know why they don't understand or they pretend not to understand because it's so impacting them that you know um, everyone has to change everyone has to adapt to this new way of living so yeah. why isn't there like some sort of um, uh, levy or something given I don't know. I don't know how to explain at that point. I was just so uh, you know I can't take it anymore. Empathy, they anything. cannot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So that was how I felt back then. Right. So I mean, there were um really many other options you probably were looking at, right? But why mm. why did you end up in the this online space? And I mean, even on the on, online space, there's so many different options. Can you share, like, you know, what is it that you decide to choose this particular business? Yeah, sure, sure. So I think first of all, like the the most um glaring reason is because it has a very low startup cost in the sense that because you don't uh, as to compared to a brick and mortar, because when you want to start a business, it's either now online or brick and mortar, right? Right. So um, <clears throat> like uh, brick and mortar, you need to have you need to fork out a lot of capital, which is something I don't have at that point, and also what kind of business idea I don't even have at that point of time. Yes. And, um, like I mentioned, because when I had these triggering points like <clears throat> during the the COVID period, so. Most shops are closed, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay, and mortar is totally out. And also because um, from personal experience, uh, my own mom, she has a mortar business for more than mm. two years. So I've seen mm-hmm. her run that business. And um, because of that, we also don't really have much time with my mom because uh, mom spends most of the time at at, at the at the shop. Mom. Yes, yeah. yeah. Shop, you know, so it's yes. like, uh, if I want to be like, at home with my children, then I cannot be working a bit and mortar because then it will defeat the purpose of like you know being home with the kids, right? So mm. um, so I know definitely a uh, brick and mortar is not for me, and I know there's like too many things to handle when you have a brick and mortar. You have to manage yes. like, the different um you know costs and then people as well. I think those are. Manage on my own, mm. uh, and um, at that first, and you know, I'm truly, I feel now I'm still very, very blessed that we are in a digital like, era. Of course, so why yes. not leverage on <clears throat> the digital space, right? And it's something mm. that we have it in our fingertips, in our palm every day. The phone, right, and internet. So I think, yes, you know, definitely have to go and suss out the online space. Yeah, mm. so that's mm. how uh, I okay. <laughs> was looking for stuff online, you know, and things like that. So, like, then why why would you want to choose this particular one then? How did you end up with this? Oh, okay, so, right, um, before I, I, I found this business, I actually did a few other online stuff as well. So, mm-hmm. one was, like, the yeah, infamous dropshipping. I actually did dropshipping <laughs> before. Yeah, 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 the e-commerce dropshipping. So, I thought I could do it by myself in the sense mm-hmm. that... Um, I, I bought like a program, you know, I paid like, I think 2K or something for a program that will teach you end-to-end how to build your own um, e-commerce store online, mm-hmm. like Shopify, you know, how to use yes. Photoshop and all that. So I thought like, oh, okay, can you can do, you know, because the guy, yeah. the person who was teaching seemed to be like, you know, it's very simple. He gave you examples and all that. Lah. Then um, I actually <clears> took <throat> two weeks off work. This wow. is just to start up my store. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to start off. I thought I can do it in two weeks, you know, but, you know, with kids again and... 
um, although it's, I, I wasn't working, but with the kids and all that, and then learning at the same time um, was just too much because starting the shop from scratch is not easy. And then dropshipping, you have to go and source from like so-called multiple supplier. Exactly. And it's too much work, and then I have to like crop and like, you know, do Photoshop everything, and it took yep. a lot of time. Mm. So within that two weeks, I couldn't even manage to set up my store. And I had to go back wow. to work already. I'm like, oh my god, yeah, I cannot. So I, yeah, I think it's too much. So I even, I kind of felt burnout during the whole, um, you know, learning stage. Mm, um, mm. Studying on myself. So I kind of gave that up. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, that is speech. Too yeah. much work. I think it's not, yeah. it doesn't fit my mom lifestyle because like, my kids yeah. are there, you know. Yeah, so that one didn't work. And when I found this business, I saw how the business model worked, right? I know definitely yeah. this is something that um, will work for me. And mm-hmm. something not like the online <laughs> drop shipping business. You yes. Know, this one we have like um out there there's training provided step by step how to actually do it. And the fact that it's a plug and play, you can actually already start. So that's mm. what I definitely like, you know, got me intrigued and I you know, wanted to start this. I know this will work for me. Yeah. Great, great. Because you have tried something else and you know yeah. I mean there's a basis for comparison, right? Yeah. Exactly, so yeah. so you yeah. know that what actually when it comes that's along, you know how to grab it. Yeah. 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 So, so honestly, being on the business for like quite a while, <clears throat> you know, um, what is one of the things that you really love about this business? Oh, okay, okay. There's plenty to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just take a few points. Yes. Right? So yeah. is, first of all, is, um, I definitely love the business model. Like I say, how, you know, it's very different than um, the dropshipping business. Like it, first of all, it's because it's a plug and play, you know, yes. um, I was like up and running within like two, three weeks. Then I started my own training at my own pace, and you know the training is um step by step in bite sizes. So I it's not like one full length video like you know you want to uh you know how do you do up your funnel then one hour that kind. But it's really like short pieces. So I actually mm-hmm. learn it like while I'm on the go or when the children are sleeping at night. Right, I have like an hour plus left. I can mm-hmm. still learn up. Yeah. Right. And also um there's this whole global community behind my back which I definitely love and we have one locally in Singapore as well so I didn't feel alone and actually helped us um, everywhere 24-7 because it's so <laughs> yeah right. so I truly love because um, I compare to the e-commerce one right it's everyone's business, everyone does a different business although we have a, also a, a small group but because everyone's doing different businesses they can't yeah. really relate to what you're doing but for yes. the community right because we're all doing um, similar so mm. um, whatever pain point or like you know, issues that you face, someone who has already like, faced it before. You know, mm-hmm. And I have a mentor and a coach. So I think mentor is already one. I got coach, so it's double, so it's even better, right? So like, <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely a lot of people like supporting you. Like, that's what I love about Abs- it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And of the automation. Like how you plug and play and then it's automated. You just let it run. So even if you're sleeping also you can get like, you know, leads and all that. So Right. It really works for me now. Yeah. yeah, this is awesome. I know there's so many things that we all love, right? But yeah, yeah I mean, that's really, on. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so after, uh, I mean, what do, what do you think, right, would be some of the, your biggest transformation you see in yourself? Uh, sorry, can you, can you um, biggest result? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, I think the biggest result would actually be um, personal transformation first. Mm-hmm. It's really because like how I'm, I'm, I was, I am still an employee, but you know, there's this employee mindset that you will have as an employee for so many years, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And now when I transition to being like your own entrepreneur, there's also another mindset as well. So learning about, um, more about myself, that's what something I've discovered through this journey, this online journey, you know, mm-hmm. like how as a, a, an employee, right, you just think, like, okay, just go into office and then just do your time. And then you knock off, right? But as yeah. an entrepreneur, you kind of like, yeah, in a way, your mind doesn't stop because you keep thinking about your business, right? In the sense that, you know, maybe before you go to bed, you think about it. When you wake up, the first thing you think about it because, um, yeah, it's just something that is, to me, is very close to me. So, and I want this to work, right? So, um, I, I started, like, also reading personal development and I can actually see a shift in my mindset how it became more positive, right? Mm-hmm. As to, like, you know, five years ago when I'm like, you know, being an employee, uh, definitely I am actually more motivated as well to want to self-improve, right? So uh, I feel that is one of the biggest transformations is really being positive in everything mm-hmm. I do. Even work became not so bad anymore, I should say, you know, <laughs> in the sense that, oh, you know, we because... to work, you know, I do my work, and I, I, I'm just very grateful that, you know, hey, you know, I can actually have a job and a yes. time, you know? 
right, so right. Really the mindset really changes. Mm-hmm. You don't feel that bad anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess <laughs> life becomes <laughs> then life becomes happier also, right? Because you change yeah, your yeah, mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the yes. fact that you know how um this business uh, allows us to connect with people. You know, mm. I, I I get to connect with um strangers, people whom I don't know like all over the world. And yeah. I share with them this business opportunity. I think I felt this sense of like um fulfillment that I get to help them because they come to me and say, Oh, you know, you're doing this, I wanna know how you can help me too. And I'm like, mm. Yeah, 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 definitely they know they watch the webinar and all that. So um when I get to mentee them, mentor them also, it's also something that um that I've never done before, lah. Right, it says that uh, it goes way beyond more than just the business. It's okay. It can get better as well. Mm, I agree. Become friends. Yes. So it's like, oh, you know, you make friends like over the two. So I feel like not too alone. Right? It's just like, you know, when you're just at work, most of the time your friends are your colleagues. You know, no, I have friends. Yes. My office. <laughs> so it's a plus plus for me. Yeah, yeah. Now, now so anywhere you travel to, right? Yeah. Sorry. So now even you want to travel to anywhere, you've got friends all over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely <laughs> you want to travel where they are, of course. Yes. <laughs> <Get> free lodging. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, uh, Melissa. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Melissa, you know, for sharing uh, your journey with us, you know. Mm-hmm. And maybe before I end off, right, I just want to ask you for, do you have any tips or um, any advice you want to share with our audience? Yeah, 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 definitely. So um, for everyone out there who's watching us, right, so um, for those who are still curious about what we do, I will definitely like, strongly encourage you all to um, sign up, right, and watch the 90-minute the webinar to find out what this is really about. Like, um, this is definitely a, a business model which I have not seen outside elsewhere, you know. Where you get the true support of like people with like like minded people who will actually help you succeed. So um it's normal to have skepticism, of course, right? So that's why we always urge you to check it out and ask questions and do your due diligence, right? Most important is um connect with the mentor, right? Yourself, uh, like with Jen, right, to find out what it is about to um uh, because we're not actually forcing you to, you know, accept that in. Just find out first, right? And think about yes. why you want to start this business. Why do you want to have an online business? Because if you don't have like a strong why, it's very hard to sustain anything that you do. You need to know what will keep you motivated. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give up. <laughs> if you're searching for something, you know, you don't give up because definitely um going into the online space is something that we have to do. And um coming from like an employee myself, you know, everyone definitely needs a plan B. So yep. I would yeah, urge everyone to check it out. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Melissa. And uh, once again, um, thank you for having having uh, Melissa here. And uh, like what she was saying, you know, just uh, check it out. You know, we are not asking you to jump right straight into the business, but find out whether this one suits you. So uh, do register on my webpage here if it's something that you think you would like to explore or just get connected with either one of us. Yeah. With that, thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thanks, Melissa. And uh, bye. bye. See you, everyone. Have a national day week tomorrow. A national yes. day tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Bye, bye, everyone.